Hey vlog buddies, hello from Toronto. I feel like in some ways we've come full circle, you and I. We're full circle because this is the place that started it all. A lot of the really popular YouTubers, not that I'm a really popular YouTuber, but 70 million video views counts for something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, a lot of the popular YouTubers have like a video that made them and for me that video was of my masturbating neighbor which happened here in Toronto. Go like, go figure, you know, of all the videos that I've made, of all like the 500 videos, that's the one that like puts me on the map. Nothing that's like meaningful or insightful or, no, it's the masturbating neighbor. Um, it is what it is and I'm very thankful for it. Presumably he's still out there in Toronto somewhere completely oblivious to the fact that he launched my career. Uh, but, but, so this is where it happened. And last night I was talking to a friend about, appropriately, masturbation in honor of the masturbating neighbor. And we were talking about like how we learned how to do it. And I didn't, never really, really realized that I was such a late bloomer with it. And I remember being on the school bus and hearing, <clears throat> hearing the older kids talk about it, but like not really understanding what it was. And so I remember going home and just like staring at it and being like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, like thinking that's what it was. And I was like, nothing's happening. Mm, what am I doing wrong? Mm -mm. Like I was taking a shit or something. Mm. <laughs> and it wasn't until we got the internet when I was like thir 13 that I like put two and two together and I think I must have seen a video or something and, and figured out how to do it. And sadly, the, f the first time that I actually did it, I guess I was 13, but I remember feeling so guilty. I was like, oh my God, I just killed a hundred million sperm. I'm gonna go to hell. Oh my God, Jesus hates me, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I'm never doing this again. And and 15 years later, I still have it. That's that's not true. I got over that pretty quickly. But how sad is it that like something that could be such like it's kind of a fundamental like stepping stone in discovering your sexuality and your body and exploring, blah blah blah, that that was something that felt really shameful for me. But so is life in a Catholic family. Um, but anyway, I guess the question is, I guess the question is how. That's creepy. I was gonna say, like, how did you learn how to do it? Does it seem inappropriate? Maybe was it, what was the experience like for you? Did you f enjoy it? Did you feel shameful about it? I feel like that's also kind of inappropriate. Whatever, I'm curious. I'm a little curious, I wanna know. So let me know in the comments below and <laughs> I will talk to you again soon. So yeah, this is, we're in Toronto, more to come. Talkie vlog on Thursday. I love you guys and peace out.